Like, this is what I think of when I think of The Room and when I think of Tommy Wiseau. Here is an example. Vinco Bogataj. That is an actual name of an actual person. Slovenian. I I, I had that as a child. My parents were anti-vaxxers. Oh, yeah, you had Vinco Bogataj. Um, Vinco Bogataj was a successful Slovenian athlete. He had success. He was good. He was well-known. He had a long and successful career. That no one remembers. <laughs> no one remembers his successes. No one remembers his long career. And let me tell you why no one remembers. That is because of Vinko Bogata... Vinko Boga Goofy Toofy Pull Up Your Pants. Yes. He is only known... You mean pull down your pants, eh? Right. As the Agony of Defeat guy. Oh, okay. I remember him well. He had a successful. Oh Australian shit! You got Olivia. me. You got me. Foster's Australian for drunk. Uh, yeah, but it's hot, so I gotta. Put it. Oh, okay. I love you. Um, and honey, you know what? Can you come over here for a second? I sure can. Give okay. Me a minute. Okay. It's just we were talking in the beginning of of our discussion of the room about all of the historical things that have happened so far on the show. We had Tom Hanks on. That was a big uh, interview. He hates Portuguese people, which it was it, um, it blew us away. Obama, right? Yeah, okay. uh, Jeannie gave birth to... Uh, Twins? Oh, no, 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 no. Twins Twins couplets. Couplets. It's yeah. amazing. And it blew me away. But the part that really just floored us was when you dressed up as Shirley Temple and sang the good ship lollipop. Well, I did a damn good Shirley Temple. You did. Your voice was so high when you were like in. in you had that like baby type of. No, I'm not doing it. Oh, come on! Oh, I guess I guess you don't want to do it again. I don't. I, I mean, performance anxiety. It's been a while. I, I gotcha. Performed like that in a really long time. You know how it is, Steve. Yeah. No, I do. I do. Ten four. Ten four. <laughs> so. Yes. Go away. Vinko Bogataj had a successful career, but he had one really nasty wipeout that played once a week from 1961 to 1998 on ABC. Yes. His life and successes and accomplishments have all been erased, and now he is known only for his one failure. How must that feel? How must that feel to have a successful career, but now everyone knows you? Only for failing. Not only that, but he was one of the greatest failures. He was the agony of defeat. And especially yeah. that guy, like, I don't think I, I could ever watch that again. You know, like, if that was me, like, like, I, like, not being him, I can watch it all the fucking time because it's so awesome of, of a defeat. Yeah. But, but for, yeah. if I was him, I don't think I can even, I, I could even, like, ever look at that again. Yeah. Yeah. And and not only that, but not only could, could you not look at it if you were that guy, but also everyone in the world is looking at it once a week. Yes. That's just, that's just amazing to me. And also just the pain in the ass of every, everyone wants to talk to you about your one big failure. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, and, oh, and, I'm on. and what else can you really come up with to say except like you have no idea how bad that hurt yeah <laughs> you know yeah kind of like the story about how the guy who played biff in the back to the future movies gives people a small eight by ten card that has the answers to every question he's always asked <laughs> nice Yes, it was amazing. No, we had no idea it would be such a huge film. No, we actually didn't get paid a lot. Yes, Michael J. Fox is amazing. And he has this, it's it's like this 8 by 10 card that he hands people, and it literally has every answer to everything he has always been asked over and over again since 1985. Good on Biff. Yeah. That basically, if I saw the guy who played Biff in Back to the Future... I'd ask him about his work in the movie The Heat. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, 
You were amazing as the captain in the heat. Uh, what was Sookie like? I forgot her name. Melissa McCarthy. Was she ad-libbing a lot? I bet it was hard for you not to laugh. I can't think of any other movie he's been in, but that would be my one way to ask him a question that would not be a question he's asked a bajillion times. So anyway, in that sense, I do feel like a small bit of sympathy for the bizarre, weird creature known as Tommy Wiseau. Yes. For making what he absolutely, positively, 115% was certain to be the single greatest drama ever. And instead, it's the world's biggest fucking joke. That little quadsicles like you and I get to rip the fuck apart. Like, I feel slightly bad for the guy. Right. No, because you know it is. No, I'm sorry, I can't go along with this one because there's a big difference between Tommy Luizzo and the agony of defeat, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, I was going to say I I should yeah. say I would feel bad for Tommy Luizzo if he wasn't such a huge fucking dick. Tommy Luizzo still made a movie. You know, yeah. he made a movie. He's gotten a career out of the fucking movie. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. More people than have a right to know his goddamn name. Yeah. 